your uh, your your private part. Every part of your body that is covered with clothes mm. is your private, private part. Nobody should touch you. And then you reenact some scenarios. What will you do if somebody maybe touches your breast? And then you have to use the real terms for the mm -hmm. genitals. You know how moms would say pee pee, wee wee, vag vag. Mm -mm. You have to use the real terms real term. so that you know you can you know, know what's what's happening. You know. And then you, your child has to have a safety network. So you will ask, if something like that happens, who is the person you would talk to first? Teacher? I don't know. Your mom, your dad, or your grandparents. And then you can also ask scenarios like, you know how these pedophiles or sexual abusers are? They could even say, if you tell anybody, I will kill you. Your mommy will die. So you could also ask, if they say they will kill you or your mommy will die, what will you do? You know, you have to reenact mm -hmm. some of those scenarios yeah. so that you can get into that child's you know, mind and, you know, be that first responder. Mm -hmm. But all of those things will not happen overnight if you don't bond with your child, yeah. if you don't, if you are not there. All right. If you are not there. Then teachable moments. Mm -hmm. Teachable moments are when you take advantage of things that just happen to pass a lesson. For instance, you are, maybe you're cooking in the kitchen and maybe you're slicing, whatever, and your child just comes and says, Mommy, why do we have to always uh, work hard? Why must we do house chores? Can't I just sleep and watch TV? You know, children ask some very funny questions. So that could even be an avenue for you to quickly explain you have to work because if you don't work, you'll be poor. If you don't work, you won't eat. Right. See, mommy has to go to uh, You know, those are teachable. I think I'm deviating a bit. <laughs> but you know, that's the truth. Uh, no, but but it's the you said something about trust. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so recently, my cousin came to me. My niece, sorry, mm. came to me that she's angry with her mom, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, why are you angry with mom? He said, oh, that she told her mom something, that she got the letter from school. Mm. And she told her mom about the letter. Mm. And she told her mom, okay, mom, do not tell daddy. Mm -hmm. You get, just teach me what to do. Tell me what to do. And you know mothers now, we're mm. always to, mothers are always to first. And we're always, I never, but sorry, don't be <laughs> angry. They are, they are close to their husband. They mm. always... Mm communicate mm. so she goes to the room and tells her husband that oh this is what happened mm. this is what our baby said mm. blah, blah blah but i'm going to teach her i'm going to put her on the right path mm. do not say anything about mm. it i'm just telling you so you'll be aware of mm. everything the next day the man sees her chatting on the phone and you know now what the wife have told him mm. that oh she got a letter from school mm. and he sees her phone and says exactly what the mm. mom told him mm. the night before mm. so because of that she lo lost trust yeah. telling her mom anything what would you say about such situation mm. how can the mom bring back that trust in her daughter mm, i don't want to sound pessimistic but it's almost like a hopeless situation mm. because I'm, i want to believe that's a teenager right yes um, you have to end that your child's trust. Perhaps what the dad do you think do, is right? Do you think telling telling her husband is the right thing? So she should know her husband's character. Okay. Uh -huh. You know your your partner's um, character would determine your reaction. Uh -huh. Some men, if he's a man that can keep his calm. Okay. And you know how fathers are protective mm -hmm. of their daughters. He obviously did that from a place of love. Love. But that's how he interprets mm -hmm. care or, you know, guarding the child. Mm -hmm. So I would say it depends on the character of the partner. Some some men can, you know, hold back. Mm -hmm. Some will be like in short, some men as she's saying it in the room. Just they are walking out. out to go and, mm -hmm. you know, deal. So you should know your partner's character before you you say some things depending on the severity of the matter perhaps she could have handled it first and then maybe it could be a little secret between she and her daughter and then she can threaten her that when next day happens okay. i will tell your father okay. but i i would think it depends it would depend on one the severity of the issue, issue. and her partner's trait mm -hmm. what can they do to solve it maybe the father can apologize perhaps he can but I doubt that that trust would be like, would come back because yeah. she wouldn't want to say anything. And to so, with kids again. like that, they will now fall back to peers. Mm -hmm. Peers. So you hear another, maybe her teenage friend will go yeah. home and say, "Mommy, hey, one of my friends said, said. this. Mm. What do you think she should do?" Mm. You're right. Yeah. yeah. We were all, all right. teenagers yeah. now, <laughs> you know. So that's just it. So once you lose it, mm -hmm. you've lost it. You've lost yeah. it. Yes. Um, so another question, you said something about um, different types of um, um, parenting, the yeah. authoritative, authoritarian, and pessimistic, yeah. and all of that. How do you, 
how do you if you have three kids let's mm. say you have three kids mm. you definitely have to treat them with different style mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how do you avoid or dodge the part of favoritism ah uh-huh. it's very tricky uh-huh. it's very tricky yes, well, it's but the truth child. is we don't see it too don't, <laughs> no louder <laughs> but the truth is <laughs> we always have our favorites hmm. every almost every parent have it but you have to hide it in my own case my my daughters i have a set of triplets same oh. age so oh. i have to love everybody equally do i have a favorite maybe a favorite for some things mm-hmm. in some aspect but you say i love this one more no nah. no so um how do but you do avoid people, do people have that the parents have that favorite of course child? Of don't course. you know when you were growing up who was uh, your, who was, who was uh, your, of who course. Was your dad or your mom's favorite we will all know course. and most times you will know when you are older mm-hmm. somehow because I, I i feel our parents change yeah when they become grandparents, grandparents and then yeah. you're like is this the mother that yeah. raised me yeah that is now so soft mm-hmm. and then they'll tell you you won't understand until you become a oh grandparent become a grandparent yeah, right. yes how do you you just have to balance and not take sides you know you don't have to take sides sometimes when siblings are fighting you could also step aside mm-hmm. yeah. no puts mouths but there'll be times where you have to you know yeah. come in involve yourself um depending on the issue you could call every each person aside and talk to them and then maybe bring them because there's, there's bring. a part where you're saying authoritarian authoritarian mm. a child might say that is always harsh on mom is always harsh on me compared to mm. the others do you mm. understand if it's if it's osama now, mm. if it's osama now mm. someone would be like they would just talk to someone mm. you understand mm. that kind of a thing so period, kids always have that oh yes and you know sometimes it's from a place of love you know some of those harsh things we yeah. thought i'm sure when you were growing up mm-hmm. you thought at some point your mom was not your mom yeah of course uh-huh. but now that you are, you are an adult to an extent you would be appreciative of some of the things mm-hmm. she did so sometimes parents do it from a place of love like i said earlier when you have more than one child you can tell the one we will give you problem you will know mm-hmm. you will know you will know you will know the one that can has a tendency to be the bully you will know the one True. that has a tendency to be bullied and you will know the one that maybe will be the in-between okay. So sometimes you may need to borrow from that authoritative, authoritarian, authoritarian. sorry, authoritarian, which is, I said so, you must do it. Okay. Then sometimes you, you know, mellow, mellow mm-hmm. a bit. So because parents know that, ah, this my freaking is like, he's going to be very stubborn. I need to, you tell the, you and your husband will plan, ah, this one, let's not give him breathing space. So iron, that's when, iron hand. Iron hand. That's when you now hear the sibling, him saying, if it is me, they'll give me 10 strokes. So. Mm-hmm. But if it's the other one, they'll give him uh, four. <laughs> no, they will even beat him. They'll say, go and sit down. You know, so we should all, all, we should learn how to balance these things. Because even me, sometimes I hear one of my daughters will say, if it's rumor mm-hmm. now, you will not, uh, you won't punish how. But if it's me now, mommy, you're always doing this. <laughs> so that's like a check. I'm just saying this to sh- mm-hmm. let you know that even me, I've not gotten it all figured yeah. out. So when they say it like that, in my of course i would deny mm-hmm. but when i go back i feel like ah, like i have to balance the things so with, with parenting and motherhood is an ongoing struggle an ongoing journey you learn, mm. learn every your kids day. will also you also learn from them mm-hmm. you also learn from them and they will teach you a lot of things they'll teach you patience and you will get to discover yourself more when you become a parent mm-hmm. through parenting them mm-hmm. there's this um Will I call it um, low strictness? Mm. I don't know what to call it, but there's this um, relief, this softness that comes with last born. Mm. So you are a last born and you are not being treated the way your parents treated the, the first, the second, the third. Uh, treating in the sense of telling them, oh, this thing, ah, no, you must do it. Mm-hmm. But for the last one, we are soft. Mm. Why is that so? I think it's just why a, the last born. I don't think it's the last born thing. Theory. It's small. just a last born. They are small. They are weak. weak. And it's even worse if the last born came after a long time. Mm. Mm. Maybe it's uh, came yeah, after right, the long time. Right, it's right. like the baby of the house. No. Don't touch that one, no. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. that's like the old <laughs> age child yeah. that will stay with them in the house. Wow. So mm. I just think it's True. it's a it's a thing. But that's how they used to spoil you. <laughs> now then they spoil pass. And so then much. the whole then the first bonds. Those ones are like mini mothers mini mother, and mini, mini fathers. fathers. And I think it's it, I think we need to change that. There's a lot of responsibilities that come with being a first born in a traditional Nigerian home. I don't mean a bougie home. Yeah, like traditional, traditional struggling mm-hmm. home. The struggle never ends. Okay. Whether you are I think it's even worse when you are I don't say when you're a lady is worse. Maybe when you're a guy. 
Uh, when you're a lady, you go through. I, I think it's when you're a lady. Responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You're like the mother. Aside, aside from feet. <laughs>